We use ISIS in the Developmental Medicine Center to manage kids with um, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. For ADHD, we don't have a blood test or some type of brain imaging, so it really takes a lot of data gathering from the family to understand is this truly ADHD or is this something else? ISIS is a web platform that acts as a conduit between patients, their parents, and their teachers to get information from those key people back to the clinicians. ISIS was intended to solve two problems. The first problem was trying to get information back from parents and teachers about how a child was doing. Uh, we had previously relied on paper questionnaires. They would get lost. They would get returned days, weeks later. The second problem was for the clinician and looking at the results of the questionnaires, trying to mentally add up a score and then compare them to previous scores over time. Ava sees her doctor every three months. So a few weeks before the appointment, I get an email, and that email brings me right into a link, which opens up the questionnaire. It's very easy to use, and I love that, again, we save the time in the doctor's appointment, that all the information is there. ISIS has really had an opportunity to transform how patients are interacting with their clinicians. When a patient shows up, rather than the clinician starting from a blank slate of how have you been since your last visit, what has been going on, they have the information in front of them. They can show them the graphs and tables on the actual computer, understand where they're at, and have a chance to have a really fruitful conversation. I can spend more time addressing parent concerns. I can spend a lot more time talking to the child about how he or she is doing, helping them understand what their condition is. Ava's teacher does the questionnaire, and Dr. Law gets to compare what the teacher is saying versus what I'm saying. And perhaps things are going really well at school, but not at home. Is that because maybe the medication is wearing off toward the end of the day? Um, it helps us figure that kind of thing out. Kids with chronic conditions like ADHD, their symptoms are changing over time, all the time, um, as a function of how they grow, how they develop, and how they respond to treatment. So getting information back in real time over months, over years, is really important in letting us know how they're responding to medication, how they're responding to different treatments, and letting us know if there's something different that we can do to help manage their needs. ISIS was developed at Children's Hospital Boston by a multidisciplinary team of clinicians and uh, software engineers who wanted to improve the care of children with ADHD. And now we're taking this software and having an opportunity to expand it to other children as well. The next steps for ISIS are to spread it across four other clinics who treat children with ADHD. Um, the primary care center here, adolescent medicine, neurology, and psychiatry. Once we have uh, the ADHD module fully established, then we plan to expand to other conditions that those clinics also deal with, including children with autism, depression, epilepsy.